Hey guys, stay tuned because today on Cooking Is Everything, I'm making Los Angeles style street hot dogs. So be ready because here they come. Sometimes you just miss food in certain areas and this is what reminds me of Los Angeles. So today I'm going to be recreating these for my wife and me. Jennifer's working today so I'm going to make these for her for lunch and uh, we'll enjoy these. <laughs> Here's what you'll need to make these Los Angeles street style hot dogs a real thing. First, we need two bell peppers. Doesn't matter what color, you can use whatever color you want. Normally I use green and red, but the green were looking like they were ready to start collecting social security. So I went with orange and red. And of course, you gotta have an onion. You can use one whole small one or half of a large one. So let's get these sliced down so we can start grilling up these hot dogs. You know, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of personal ties to California and Los Angeles area. That's, that's where my family's from. My mother and her family migrated from Mexico to the Los Angeles area. That's where my father and my family was living in the Los Angeles area. So I have connection with Los Angeles. My wife is from Diamond Bar. She grew up there. You know, my, our daughter was born in Riverside, California. That's where my stepfather, Eddie, is from, is from California. My grandmother's sister live out there. My wife's brother and his family still live in the San Francisco area. My aunt and my all my cousins still live out in Southern California, so I still got a lot of ties to Los Angeles area. My wife and I, before we got married, that's where we really did most of our getting to know one another was at Disneyland. We were married in California, Walnut. I forget the name of the church, that's horrible. November 25th, 2000, it's easy to remember. We've, we've got a lot of deep ties to California, even though I was born and raised here in Texas. And that's what this hot dog kind of represents is, just makes me think of California. You're on uh, Sunset Boulevard. You got the street vendors, and you got the uh, yeah everyone dressed up as superheroes. Chopping vegetables is my least favorite thing to do. This is where sometimes I wish I had two good hands. We got all of our stuff chopped down, so now let's get to bringing out our grill. Electric grill or griddle? I don't know what you would call it. It's, just, it's electric. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of oil down. Use our brush to kind of get it all nice and even that along here before it gets too hot. Because we're gonna toast the buns first. Get the nice buns from the deli. You don't want to get the cheapy ones. You want some nice heavy duty buns that can hold a lot of meat and a lot of stuff because we're gonna be packing these suckers in. Get the griddle hot so we can toast these buns. We got some delicious brioche buns. We're just gonna put them, open them up, line them up on here so they can get nice and toasted. Be familiar with your griddle so you don't burn your, your buns. All right, so before we do anything else, we wanna get the uh, bacon going. We can put some bacon in these hot dogs, so let's get them in the oven. So we got some bacon for these dogs. All right, the bacon's in the oven. It's cooking. Should be ready in about 10 minutes. Let's throw the peppers onto the grill. That is smelling really good. Smelling the peppers and the onions together. Season with a little salt. A little bit of pepper. Just a dash of garlic powder. Mix them up again. Onions are starting to caramelize, so we're gonna throw on our hot dogs. Our all beef franks using Hebrew National all beef franks. Don't get the cheap hot dogs. You need some good quality wieners. Get the all beef franks. Just check the bacon, it's coming along. Get these franks all nice and grilled. Our onions and peppers are about ready. That's 
first time shooting a video on my own, and let me tell you, this is not easy. Goodness gracious. The hot dogs, the franks and peppers are done. Let's check on the bacon. What's really impressive is they do this all on one little cart in the street. They do all of this. I'm over here, I'm having to work in like three different stations to try and get this done. And they do it all in one rectangular area, area on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Or you can find it anywhere pretty much in Los Angeles. You'll find these on the beach. But it's impressive how, how resourceful uh, vendors can be when, they, when they're making this stuff, because it's like all right there. Put some mayonnaise on our dogs, on our buns. Get mayonnaise on our buns. I cannot wait to eat these. Well, two of them. The other two are gonna go to, to Jennifer. She's working today, so we're gonna surprise her with these hot dogs. Strip of bacon. Boom, boom, boom. Now we come on with our dogs on the other side. One strip of ketchup. Strip of ketchup. You don't want too much. Oops, because we want it all to combine to get one delicious uniform flavor. Mustard, a little zigzag pattern. These will be a hit at your, at your next barbecue. Now we come in with the peppers and the onions. Got some festive fall colors with these onions and bell peppers. These look absolutely amazing. If you got, if you get, if you got some heartburn, make sure to take some uh, some Pepsi AC. <laughs> Let's call Jennifer so she can uh, try one of these bad boys for lunch. Mmm, reminds me of going to the beach. You know, like when you walk along the beach and they have like. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the like street the, vendors. Yeah. Yeah. The, the carts. Okay, I'm gonna try one. Mmm, that is so tasty. It's messy, but it's tasty. <laughs> My turn to try. I made them. I get to try. Let's see. You got the the fattiness from the mayonnaise, the sweetness from the ketchup, the Tartness from the mustard, all working together with the peppers and the all beef frank. Mm. Okay, you guys are gonna have to leave. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, share it with your family and your friends. Let everyone know about cooking is everything. And remember, the love that you put in your cooking is the love that you're gonna get out. I'm JC3, and I wanna thank you guys for watching today. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye!